Yeah. You did. I remember yeah. when you yeah. did. Didn't you okay. teach in the back? Yeah. I no, did. Yes, sir. <laughs> Crash bamboo. We have a salon. Uh, we've got uh, from. Um, gee, I can't like I can't remember. We got from Ludwig and Zildjian, Mike Bruker. He's in the back. You just. Uh, I, I really have a passion for the in independent retailer. I feel they are the backbone of this industry, and I also feel that. Um, you know, these are the guys with Cushion, and we're honored to have uh, Chris from Sabian Symbols here as one of our sponsors. And it's really a thrill to be able to work with a big time tour, uh, great artists he's worked with. <laughs> 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 Exemplifies all the horrific emotions and. Stone Temple pilot, Scott Weiler. Yeah. Crazy dude, right? Yeah. Anyway, it's pretty bizarre. So I learned the material, and I think we're going to get some sort of rehearsal, at least some sort of run through. <laughs> <laughs> How's the Jewish name Mark? Couldn't be here today because he broke his hand in a bizarre water skiing accident. <laughs> but we have a dear friend. Attitude shift. I thought, wait a minute. This is it. I can reinvent myself right now! <laughs> so I'm back in the drum kit. <laughs> sounds, so there's no security. So there's like a bunch of fans around the tour bus. I'm thinking, this is great, all these fans, you know, they just wanted autographs. No, no worries. No security, but fans are right at me. And he's not smiling. My palms start sweating. <laughs> But then, all of a sudden, his face softens. He goes, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> Talk about some proud parents, let me tell you. That made my parents really proud. So anyway, I grew up playing drums. Drums. Ringo Starr, look how cool he is. And I knew at that point I wanted to do that. I wanted that. But then I saw all of the screaming. Somebody's got to get it. You might as well. He said, you know what? If you don't like her, just take my girlfriend drummer from Marina Del Rey in a store on a, on what day is it, on a Saturday. Like, hey, what about that last shitty fill you played? What was that about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was that about? Is that how you want to be remembered? <laughs> you know, I taught at LA Music Academy in Pasadena. <laughs> cool, thank you. I needed that answer. I'll use that later. Especially when, you know, like the way I play, like, you know, look at me, man. I'm, I'm sweating like a pig, you know? There was a study that talked about how a drummer playing an hour and a half into a urologist, a specialist in that area. So I played out the rest of the tour, and you know, the pain was very nominal. It was very slight of infection that will go away in about a week. When this left testicle feels lumpy, that doesn't feel right to me. I want to look at that. And he has a sonogram, an ultrasound machine. You know the machines I used to check? I'm about 99% sure you have cancerous, non seminoma You know, who was it that said? I think it was, uh, it was, it was Henry Ford. And nearly five months ago, 
my wife. <laughs> song you might be able to get it from anywhere but I want to see this is after I played the song okay that's why I started playing it then I started falling in love with as they started developing their own sound their own brand of cymbals what did they play in the studio Gretsch Chad Smith yeah. did a clinic it is Pearl Clinic and it is Pearl Clinic told everybody that he plays Gretsch drums <laughs> I play Gretsch feel I can't tell you one is better than another I'd be bullshitting medium line cymbals Sabians, I play everything across the bat, though, because I have a lot of different symbols for different, different Tuning, miking, my own system of charting. Said I did about a hundred, hundred albums. <laughs> So playing with a click track or a metronome is when on stage, when I'm playing with Pink or any of these gigs I've been doing. So they're going to follow you then. Exactly. <laughs> well, we follow each other. Yeah. Okay. Just relaxed. Started playing again. 30 seconds later, he stops the band. He picks up. That's the biggest misconception in music. I'm a slow man. <laughs> and eventually, you won't have to concentrate. Yeah. To Sabian, to Dick.